I just showed you how to make the pulled pork in the slow cooker. The next day, we're gonna take that same pulled pork and make carnitas out of it. So observe, we got a pan here, it's hot. Take some of this pulled pork, throw it in there. It's sitting here in most of its original juices and fat, so it's gonna fry up crispy in its own juices and it has that vinegar and uh, fat flavor. It's definitely gonna fry up crispy. We're gonna put a bunch of this stuff in. Hey Dad, stop doing that. A healthy slathering uh, of this slow cooked pork and we're gonna keep the fat in there. We're not gonna drain any of the grease. The grease from the pork is gonna help it crisp up into a nice consistency that we're looking for with carnitas. Just a side note, your chef may have fed his sous chef three margaritas. Just saying. I may be his sous chef slash camera operator. We're class act. Now we have the pulled pork going, like medium high heat. And obviously this has the flavor of the vinegar and the onions and the salt that we originally added to the pork. And now it is frying in its own fat, which is going to give it a really nice texture and really nice flavor. And now we're gonna add some additional spices. Some ground cumin and some chili powder. Cumin, oregano, coriander, garlic, allspice, cloves. This is chili powder. All right, the little shaker holes weren't doing it, so I'm gonna open, I opened up this thing, which is nice. So now we're gonna take the cumin. All right. Mix that all together. See, the pork is falling apart further. The fat and the liquid are evaporating. So what we're gonna do, once this is all mixed together very well, we're gonna turn the heat up to medium high and we're gonna let it sit for a little too long and that's gonna make it crispy. I'm gonna add a little bit of jalapenos, spice things up just a bit. It's starting to crisp up. You can see a couple crispy spots like that. I'm just gonna keep this going. I make carnitas and I will treat us spicy crispy fried pork. I make carnitas and I will treat us. If you don't like it, you're a dork. Ole! So this is what the pulled pork looks like if you let it sit for a little too long on one side. Nice and crispy, fried in its own grease, so it has a really nice flavor to it. Very rich, very porky flavor. We've got some black beans here, tortillas, some jalapenos, romaine, little tomato. Some of our favorite hot sauces. This one was from Costa Rica. It's not very hot. This is my dad's favorite, which is a little hot. And here's the queso we grated freshly just now for made big brick of sharp cheddar cheese. Once you get that nice crispy finish on one side, move it around. You really want to spread the crispy around all sorts of sides of this pork. So if you mix it and turn it and toss it and leave it for a little too long on each side, it's going to come out with a great texture. And that's carnitas. Enjoy. You'll notice that I didn't get an end video of what this all looks like once assembled. Maybe I accidentally had a few too many sips of margarita. You can use your imagination. It was delicious. Thank you for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please share. Remember to check in on your loved ones, wash your hands, and support local business. Love you. Miss you. Goodbye.